All right. So, how do you find the equation of the line of the intersection of two planes? So, let's say we have this plane over here, right? And let's say there's this other plane over here, like this. Now, do you agree that when these two planes intersect, this over here will be, will be the line of intersection? Right. So, do you agree that this line is basically perpendicular to the normals of both vectors? Sorry, the normals of both planes. So, and we know that when we cross two vectors, we get a new vector that's perpendicular to both the vectors. So, our first step will be crossing the two normals to find the direction vector of the line. So, to cross the two vectors, step one is always writing them down horizontally. So, this will be 1, 2, 3, and 2, minus 1, and 2. I've explained how to cross two vectors in one of my previous videos. So, I know the answer to this one. This will be 7i minus, minus 4j and plus minus 5k. So, the direction vector of the line of intersection of these two planes will be 7, 4, and minus 5. That's step 1. Step 2. Write the equations of the plane in the Cartesian form. So, the equation of the first plane was r dot 1, 2, 3 equals to 1. So, this will be x plus 2y plus 3z equals to 1. The other equation is, sorry, I forgot the r over here, r dot 2 minus 1, 2 equals to 1. So, 2 minus 1, 2. So, 2x minus y plus 2z equals to 1. That's step 2 over here. You write down the equations of the planes in Cartesian form. Step 3 is you set z equals to 0 and solve for x and y. So, since this is a line, this means that we there might be, I don't know, infinite number of uh, possible points we can find, right? Uh, but to find one point, all we have to do is set either of, uh, either of the three va uh, variables as 0. You can set x equals to 0 and solve for y and z and get a point where x equals to 0. You can set y equals to 0, solve for x and z. Uh, or, in this case, like I'll do, you set z equals to 0 and you solve for x and y. So, since z equals to 0, your equation will be x plus 2y equals to 1 and 2x minus y equals to 1. You solve this simultaneous equation and this turns out to be x equals to 3 upon 5 y equals to 1 upon 5. So you get a point on the line which is 3 upon 5, 1 upon 5, and 0. So that's step 3. You set any one of the three variables as 0, you solve for the other two variables, and you get a fixed point on the line. The last step is you use the fixed point and you use uh, the direction vector to form the equation of the line. So the equation of the line will be r equals to 3 upon 5, 1 upon 5, 0, plus lambda, the direction vector was 7, 4, and minus 5, so 7, 4, and minus 5. So this here 
is your equation of the line of intersection of the two planes.